All right, so we're going to work really hard on trying to get our citations uh, correct in this uh, example of, hang on a second, for our research, independent research here. I'm doing Taylor Swift. She's a great singer, one of my personal heroes, and we're going to get the information and make sure that we're not plagiarizing and make sure that we're giving the credit to the person who writes the information that we're getting. So the first thing we're, we're, we took, we had a couple criteria here. We had to have a book and we're getting information off the internet. And I've um, got a, I got a couple internet sources. I've got biography.com and I've got Wikipedia. Okay. So I, and I also have her own little website. But let's let's do biography.com first because when you put biography.com in EasyBib, there is not much uh, information as far as a citation. But if you go to the biography.com website uh, where you got the information, right? This is where I got my information. I found something interesting that everyone would appreciate. And there is absolutely some stuff that we can use here if you notice citation information is at the bottom of this website article title author website name access date publisher so all that stuff that we need for our citation is here even the original publish date but in a means not applicable so we're not going to put that in our citation but we do need all this other stuff for our citation. So I'm going to copy it just to kind of show you how this works. Um, now this is not something that you you do not do this. Okay, two things you don't do. You don't do that. That is not your citation. Please do not do that. But you might want to do that just so you have that information. All right, so I want to go back here. That is something I don't want to do. Let me see. Oh, I can't find. I can't undo. So I have a problem here. Let me pause. Okay. Okay. Now we're back on track. I'm going to undo what I just did. Okay. And I'll show you something else that we're not going to do. So on biography.com, another thing that I don't do for the citation is this right here. I don't copy the um, the URL site this is the website address this is also not a citation I saw that on a lot of your papers okay so that is not a citation here is what a citation is and let me show you how this works I'm going to go back to her information here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to show you this is the order it goes in. Now I know this is a lot of, you know, when I paste that on there, look where it goes. Okay. So you don't need to paste it on there. You just need to have the information, citation information. All right. So um, what's the first thing that goes there? The person who wrote the article, who wrote the article, the author. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to type in. Um, biography editors. That's my author, all right. And let's then name, and I'm gonna put a period. I should have a period in the example there. And what's the name of my article? It is Taylor Swift biography. And I'm gonna put a uh, period and the quotation marks and then I'm going to put the website name or the um, yes the website name which is the biography.com website the biography.com website period who's my publisher here there is a publisher our publisher is A and E Television Networks. A uh, and E Oops. Television 
network. And that's my publisher. Um, and I think this is a comma. And then we're going to have uh, the year the, when it was published. And that was the NA information, right? So that is not applicable. And then I'm going to put the uh, web because that's where I'm getting it. Period. And this is the date that I got it right here. So it's November 12th. Two thousand fifteen. Check it out. What you just did. You just made your own dun, 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 citation on for a website. Okay. Now that wasn't that hard, was it? And you did it all by yourself. So you'll have this information right here. Okay. And I want you to be able to do this on your own for at least the biography.com uh, website. Now I also want to do the Wikipedia website. Oh, this is going to be really easy okay so this is the only thing you need to do here is I'm going to type in um, the Taylor Swift biography oh and it's right there I want to use this right here there's the Wikipedia website and if I want to do a citation I got good information here over here for tools I have where it just tells me to cite this page okay and here I'm going to cite this page. I want to use the MLA. Okay, so that's a very small link right there. Um, hang on a second. I want to show you this. Here's all that information right here. Okay, we could do the same thing that we just did. But instead, I'm going to be lazy. And I'm going to do this right here. There it is. And all I got to do is copy that and put that I don't just I can just put that on my paper oh that's the one that I finished here we go all right so here's my Wikipedia all right right there and let's go to the one that I just finished for biography.com sometimes I have trouble remembering my tabs here it is it's gonna have a larger text but we can fix that that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to put it back in my paper. No, that's not what I want. What do I need to do? I need to change font size. That's so easy. And there I have two, the two citations I need, two out of the four that I used on this paper I'm really rolling now so I would also need the one from the book and this is one hopefully that I can go over next time because I know eight minutes is a long time to watch video and hear my voice so hopefully this can be something you can use to help you get your citations correct all right good luck and I will see you at the front of the room